Hey, hey, welcome back to another guide of mine. This time I'm going to show you how to run a dedicated server for Conan Exiles with Steam CMD. And these are the prereqs. If you want to, your friends to join your server, you will need to set up port forwarding on your router. Ports to port forward are going to be 7777, 7778, 27015, and 27020. As I've mentioned in my other videos, Google this if you don't know how to port forward on your current router. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. So simply just open up a browser and just type in Steam CMD downloads and make sure it's on this one. Go to Steam CMD, Web Developer Community, click on Windows, click on the links to download the files. So while you are still downloading Steam CMD, Let's just go ahead to your C drive and we'll just make a new folder called Steam CMD. All right. Okay, once you have Steam CMD downloaded, it should be in the downloads folder. Just go ahead and right click, hit extract all. You can browse and we'll go to this PC, C drive. And we're going to look for that new folder you just created called CCMD. Let's go ahead and select the folder and just hit extract. And once it's in this folder, it should just only have this steamcmd.exe file. And once you double click on it, it will go ahead and populate all these other files that you need here. And that's it. And then we are going to type these commands in. All right. It is going to be force underscore install underscore sure space c colon backslash conan exiles dedicated server all right and hit enter and then we're gonna do login anonymous okay sweet and now we're gonna do app underscore update space four four three zero three zero and then space validate and just hit enter let it do its thing and this is one way to properly update your Conan Exiles server as well if you needed to all right now we're gonna navigate to the C drive and that first command that we did in Steam CMD was to create a new folder called Conan Exiles dedicated server which should be in your C drive and should have created a folder called Conan Exiles dedicated server just double click into that bad boy and what you want to do is run the conan sandbox server.exe just double click onto that bad boy and it may take a little while at first you might notice nothing happened and you may get a firewall prompt you do just go ahead and allow it and if you do want to know if your conan sandbox server is running just do control alt delete at the same time or right click on the bottom of your task manager or taskbar go to task manager and toggle your memory usage of what is using the most and you should simply see conan sandbox server win 64 shippingexe you can just click on it right click and end task and what we needed to do there was to generate some needed server settings to edit and now we'll need to navigate to conan sandbox folder make sure you're still in the same repository conan sandbox Saved, config, Windows Server. All right. Before we edit the server settings.ini file, let's go ahead and make a backup the default values in case you mess up on them. And what we're going to do is just right click, copy, and we're just going to right click again, paste this in here, NF2, and we're going to rename it simply just to server settings dash backup all right just like that easy peasy and now we're going to right click onto server settings and hit edit this is the serve this is the settings or file you we want to edit all right these are what you want to edit which is going to be the pvp enabled if you do want pvp enabled simply look for it control f find and there it is and I set mine to true 
You can set this to false if you want it to be a PvE server. The next thing is going to be player XP. If it's not down, it must be up. Alright, so change this. Okay, so the player XP rate multiplier. Multiplier. I've changed this to 2. The default value was at 1. I don't know if there is a limit to the value. So change this to whatever value you want to. Um, but if it doesn't work, just revert it back to 3, 4, 5. Something like that. And now we want to change the uh, server region. Okay, is it up? Nope, it must be down. Okay. And server region, uh, mine is 1. Uh, right now, I will list down the uh, server regions that you want to do. Uh, for example, one is America. All right, and once you have everything you want to uh, set up, I do recommend going to this website. And this is the Steam community website that I was, I was showing you about what the uh, server INI settings pretty much do. Three, aha, right here. All right. Yep. So review this. Make sure you're in the server settings, the INI uh, section. This is going to kind of show you what this all does. And next, what we'll need to do is edit the engine.ini file now, which is located right here. Right click and we'll just edit. And below this online subsystem right here, I did have to manually input this, which is the server name and the server password, unfortunately. It would have been nice for this to be just in the file already by default, just saying Funcom. Um, but yeah, simply just put it, put this value in here and then put in your server name. In my case is RG Gaming. Uh, simply put in the server password, which is the password. This is the password to join the server, obviously. Uh, but once you're done with this, just go ahead and go save and file or file save and then just close that out. All right. And we're going to go back to the beginning, back to the C drive, back to the Conan Exiles dedicated server that we just created here. And you should already have a start server.bat file, which is a batch file to start the server. And if I right click on it and edit, I can kind of show you what it is. It's literally just this command. It's just literally launching the Conan Sandbox server.exe and space and dash log. I'll put this in the description down below in case you don't have the batch file. But I'm gonna close this out. I'm just gonna double click onto this and it's gonna simply start the Conan Excel dedicated server. Okay, so once you see on the logs that you have spawn points showing up in your logs, uh, that simply means your server is ready to go and anyone can join at this point now. So we're gonna be launching the game, see you there. Okay, here we are at the menu screen. All right, and we're gonna go to play online. All right, and now we're on the top. We're gonna type in server name. In my case, it is RG Gaming, and it should populate. And then we're gonna want to just click on it, hit join, and put in the server password, which I already have in there. I've already tested this entire thing and it does show you the server settings on the right side right here and what we've uh, edited right now we have experience multiplier set to 2.0 we're gonna hit okay we we are in okay I'm a male obviously all right I'm just gonna go through the entire setup just to show you guys that it does work and yeah we'll confirm <clears throat> this is just a test server good luck message of the day so i do know this is my server i hope this helped and enjoy consider liking and subscribing to help me out with youtube algorithm and um feel free to comment down below what dedicated server you want to see next whether you're interested in seeing a setup with mods i can try to experiment with that if i get enough time and requests for it don't forget to check out my other videos on a dedicated server setups. I may have created one just for you already. Other than that, you all have a great rest of your day or night. Cheers. See you next time.